welcome back to my channel. Something a little bit different today. I'm on a roll with videos and video ideas and planning and prepping. Um, so I've, I'm just in the mood to film. I don't really do makeup videos or anything like that. Um, and filming actual makeup tutorials, like I hardly wear makeup anyway. So um, finding times when I'm actually wearing makeup to film that is a rarity. Um, but I thought that surely there's more people out there like me that only have a small amount of makeup pretty much stick to the same products you've probably seen half of this in um the videos that i have done where i've shown makeup you've probably seen all of this before but there are certain things that i've got and i've kept and that i will hold on to for a little while longer um that i don't use every day for my everyday makeup so today i thought i would do a little makeup collection which i don't think i've, I've never done one of these before because i wouldn't say that i have you know, I used to watch these when I aspired to have the enormous amounts of makeup because I was like, I'm going to be a makeup artist. Um, or when I started going to college and I was looking at like theatrical makeup and like, I absolutely loved it. But I've never actually watched a minimal makeup collection video and I'm sure there's absolutely loads out there. But I just thought that it would be something different for me to film and um, something different for you all to watch. Um, and, you know, I doubt I'll be doing these um, all the time so it's a very one-off video so basically behind me I just thought I'd show you I've got my dressing table which I think is from Wayfair um, I'm not 100% but my mum basically got it for me for my did she get it for my birthday this year I think she might have got it for my 22nd birthday I don't know I don't think I had it I don't think I've had it a, over a year it was either my 21st or my 22nd birthday but I feel like it would be Maybe it was my 21st because it's a bit of like a bigger present. Yeah, so that was actually a present of my mum, but it was only like for a dressing table and it comes with like a little stool. Anyway, it was about £130. There was a bit of a discount on it at the time, but it's been absolutely brilliant. I did break the chair, but Calm fixed it. Um, and everything else is absolutely wonderful. I love like the wood and the white. Um, and then down the side of my, here, down the side of my dressing table, I have some clear containing containers, basically, a little like, Check, like set of drawers uh, they're from Wilkinson's they were like six or eight pounds um each there's two sets there and it was basically a small drawer and then two bigger drawers in its little frame and I bought two of them and they actually slot together really nicely so I threw away there's obviously a top to go on top and I threw away one of the tops and just stacked them so it's like double the height double the storage and it's nice and slim and just slots in there nicely um so I'll go through my dressing table first and then I will go through this side drawer. So as you can see already, there's not a lot of actual space to store stuff. So this is a really minimal collection. Underneath my dressing table here, I have like a little box for my hair straighteners, hair dryer, everything like that, a bin. Um, and then I have like my nail varnish or my gel kit and some, some COVID tests. Um, but just underneath here, it is the only, it's not the only palette, but it's the only big palette that I have. Uh, my friend actually got me this. Um, and it is the Morphe 24G Grand Glam. And the reason I've kept it is because it is just, even though I don't do eyeshadow a lot, it is, you'll see when I show you, the, the colour tones are really warm. And they are, like, especially for holidays and stuff, they're just go-to shades. So every time I go to, like, a wedding or if I was going on a night out, things like this, this would be the kind of palette I would reach to. I wouldn't say it's an everyday palette for me, but this is the first thing I'll show you just because it's the only thing that's loose under there. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at them shades. Really easy to use. I mean, ugh, I don't do anything technical, but beautiful little palette. So this is my everyday kind of go-to staples drawer. So first of all, the insert that you can see underneath this, the grey, um, it's like silicone kind of texture, that is actually a drawer insert from Ikea and on the back they do have lines where you can cut it down to size to fit into their drawers but with it being rubber and um, you can cut it down to size for any drawer really so i cut this down i literally actually only got this a couple of weeks ago um so i cut this down to size because i think it's really nice to be able to have your makeup to hand to just grab it easy rather than i was trying to like you know it was rolling all around the drawer and then also if i were to take all the makeup out it's also super easy to clean it doesn't stain the bottom of the drawer the bottom of the drawer is white um, so I feel like it's an extra protective layer as well. Let's go across from this side going over. Um, so in the front here, which you can't see, I've just got two eyeshadows. Um, 
one being a loose pigment and one being a pot so this is the Minachi Halo it says it's a highlight but I use this as an eyeshadow it's where it would be way too dark for me as a highlight uh, it's a beautiful eyeshadow the perfect kind of gold shade um, the Minachi products are so good with their pigmentation and then I've got a MAC loose pigment in the shade tan and then the only other thing I've got on the sides is the Naked Honey palette which has been in most of my makeup videos that are uh, online um so just some beautiful neutral shades um you can kind of do day to night with this palette but it is very neutral whether as the other morphe palette has i mean it's got orange and pink in there and much richer colors this is just everyday not too um obnoxious in this palette I've got a massive pot of pseudocreme back here and then in front of that I have my brushes so I'll take them all out and show you them one at a time so these are just like my everyday brushes that I have to hand and um, so at the minute I'm using this Morphe brush it's the expert f eh, Morphe I'm using this Real Techniques brush it's the expert first brush Um I've got two Zoeva brushes uh, I've got the 221 and the 228, the Lux Crease and the Lux Soft Crease brush. Literally just have them in there to buff out simple colours if I was going to put like a, a nude through my eye. I've got um, a spoolie. This is a peaches and cream brush. What brush it is has come off the brush. Um, but I use this for my powder. And I have the Zoeva Teat Stippling Brush 112. Uh, 122, sorry. And finally, another peaches and cream brush. And I use this for my bronzer. Um, not that I really use bronzer at the minute. Definitely a summer thing. So along from there, I'll go to this... I'll go to the back section first. These are kind of like my extra products. Um, so first of all, I've got my Benefit Cosmetics, the Professional Primer. Uh, this is the Pearl Primer. Um, I have it at the back because they're not things that I reach for. The things that I reach for every day are here at the front, easy, in the biggest section. Then I have my number 7 translucent powder. I actually need another one of these soon. It's um, a loose powder. Um, then I've got my Topshop Shimmer Blush, which I'm not sure if you can still get. It's in the colour Amuse. I kind of use this colour as a blush and highlight day to day at the minute. Finally, I've got my bronzer which is the Hoola Benefit bronzer. It's just the original colour. In this front bit I have got a mini pseudocreme. I do like my pseudocreme. I've got my simple protecting light moisturiser. It's got SPF 15. I think I've said before that I want one with more SPF but this has been wonderful. It doesn't break me out and for the time being it's fine. Um, so I've just got that in there. I've got my Ordinary Serum Foundation in the shade 2.0 YG which is a uh, light medium. It says here, yellow undertones with gold highlights. Uh, so I've got that in there. I've got my Carmex lip balm. I've got my concealer, which is the Rimmel Last and Radiance Concealer. I think this is in, what's, is it ivory or soft beige? Not sure, one of the two. Collection, this is the actual, I think this is for lashes. It says the Color Lash All Day Wear Color Mascara. Um, in clear, which I do use for my eyebrows on a day-to-day -day basis. My mascara at the minute is actually the mini Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I might use concealer brows, mascara, and I'll moisturise as well. And then I do also have in there my go-to lip pencil, which is the MAC Saw Lip Liner. Um, it's just such a diverse colour you can use it with red with pink with nudes I, I just love it so i keep that in there and then finally in this side section here um, i've got two creams so i've got my this is actually a prescribed cream for acne um so i do keep that in there although i haven't had to use it because i haven't had any breakouts at the minute touch wood and then finally i have my body shop almond milk and honey hand cream um just always nice to have one to hand somewhere that's easy to access. I like to keep hand cream in all um, accessible areas, handbag, car, drawer. Right at the back, in the very little back compartment, which is just the cutest little thing, um, I've got my go-to lipstick and lip gloss, just because it's easy to keep these things to hand. So this lip gloss, annoyingly, is the Topshop lip gloss in, well, it's the Chameleon lip gloss in Flash. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It looks quite colourful and iridescent there, but it is basically clear. I know that there is a very similar one by Kiko. And then my lipstick, which is Max Honey Love, which is my current go-to favourite. Um, just super nourishing and a lovely colour. 
So this is my next drawer. Um, as you can see, this isn't actually a makeup drawer, but I thought I'd show you it anyway because I feel like there would be some curiosity. Um, so obviously that's my go-to makeup, and then I use this one for kind of my go-to products when I'm getting ready. So in here I have the So Unique Sugar and Marshmallow Body Mist. Um, this is something that I... I'm just it's not, it's not my favorite scent but it's an easy sweet scent to use and I'm basically keeping it in there because I use it every morning for work just to use it up because I would hate to wear something basically um I've got my Shaw deodorant I've got my Batiste let me turn it around Batiste tropical dry shampoo um this is my go-to deodorant I do use two deodorants just because I find that I need two deodorants I'm not saying that I smell but I'm just saying I'm a girl who needs two deodorants. To be fair, this is pretty fine by itself, but I like the, the smell that the spray gives off as well. I've got a mini Aveeno in there. Always good to have one to hand. And then I've got a deodorant, a spare one um, in there, which is the Dove uh, Pomegranate deodorant. And then as you can see at the back, I've got another deodorant, which is a Mitchum Roll-On one. Um, but I'm not a great fan of the Roll-On one. So I'm keeping this here as like a spare. Um, so I can kind of use this between purchase it a new one of the doves um and then it will gradually get used up down this side compartment here um i've got this little chapstick case which i swear i've literally had since i was about 12 um and i basically has have this with um some clips and some bubbles in and so every time i go away somewhere i literally just pull this out the drawer and it's ready for me to just pop in my bag um to take away next to that i've just got a glass jar i think this had a candle in um, and i just decided to reuse it um, and in this i just have some bubbles um and then i have some i don't really do many i don't really have many fancy hair accessories or things like that but i do have some pearl clips and there's two pearl bubbles in there but just some bubbles and clips and grips um to have to hand and then this back compartment it's basically a makeup bag and in there i just have lots of scrunchies and i have a few of the plastic um hair grips in there just keeping some hair accessories to hand um i do love a scrunchie rather than a bubble on a day-to-day -day basis and that's all i have in that drawer of keeping it nice and simple so this is the only area of my desk where i actually have products the other side of my desk just has a small uh, mirror which you'll have seen in the intro uh, so I just have some products to hand and um, also because they're easier to have on display than in the drawer because I either use them so much or they're too big kind of thing uh, so I have mine and Callum's hairspray this bottle is too big to fit into a drawer otherwise it would be hidden away um, I have my Aveeno here but it's nice to just have so that when I come back into my room from the shower I can just use it straight away and then this at the minute is kind of like my go-to perfume it's such a relaxing scent um it's a twilight scent from lush it does look like i'm about to do some cleaning but i'm definitely not um but yeah i absolutely love that so i keep that out there as my like signature scent and normally if i was using a perfume i'd have the perfume bottle there um, and then on this side bit this is the top of the next um storage compartment full of uh, makeup and beauty bits i have this small metal mesh kind of container and i literally just have in my back home and brush my brush, um, a curling brush for like my fringe or um, when I'm drying my hair and then a spare grip just to have to hand and then in front of that I have another moisturiser which is the almond milk and honey, it matches the hand cream that I had actually but it's the body butter from the body shop um, just because depending on how I'm feeling I'll flick between this and the Aveeno the Aveeno obviously if I'm feeling quite ex marie really dry I will reach for that uh, but if not so much then I'll reach for this because it has a nice scent to it so this is the top drawer it's basically a lip drawer um, I'm going to go through some of my favourites I'm probably not going to go through all of them um, obviously my favourite two are in my main drawer uh, so basically at the back here I've got a couple Carmex and Vaseline I've um, got a little pencil sharpener for some lip liners. I've got a couple of lip liners down here. Um, this one is actually a really nice one. This dark red one from NYX. Um, it says matte lip crayon in Alabama. Um, this is really nice dark red. I actually sometimes use this without any lipstick over the top or sometimes just with a gloss over because this colour is actually really nice this is a really nice nude gloss actually from max factor uh, it's the honey lacquer in the shade honey nude um so this is 
not sheer, but it, um, you know, it's, it's pigmented with a slight sheerness to it. It's not like um, one, one of the really pigmented glosses. Um, and it's really nice. Sometimes I use this over the top of lipstick. Obviously, lip glosses have kind of been on the back shelf because of face masks. Um, but I did go for a phase of using this one as like an everyday gloss. I've got a little compact mirror in here. I tend to keep this handy. Um, before I go any further, this little grey spongy bit here is actually the offcuts from the makeup drawer. Uh, there was two offcuts, so I've put one side in there and then this has got a slight divide here uh, for the two sections and they're just two offcuts that I thought I'd use and they fit perfectly. Um, so what have I got in here? I've got, this is my only Kiko one. I only kept this because it's my only dark lipstick really um that's quite nice and autumnal but kiko i did have to throw it out because i'd had it for so long um but they do some lovely glosses and their gloss was another nude to sheer gloss that i used to wear all the time i absolutely love this lipstick for nourishment this is the it's top shop again so i feel bad mentioning it but um it's the top shop lipstick uh, it's the blush lipstick in shawl that's s-h-o-a-l if you can still get it um and it's this is actually quite sheer for a lipstick it looks quite dark on camera but it comes out at the most beautiful almost you know how they always used to say like your lips were better um lip color um just really sheer and nourishing especially if you're going through like a chapped lip phase and you don't want the lipstick to dry your lips out that's brilliant i've got a couple of red lipsticks here uh, there are a few more nudes from the rimmel london kate moss um collection uh, that i had for college and i just keep them as spare nudes because if i ever lose one it's good to have some backups and um, i've got some reds here i'll show you both of these because they're my two main reds that i have so i've obviously got rimmel uh london kate moss 107 I mean, did everybody not have this? I think I've probably had this since I was about 16. That's pretty gross. But I I cannot um, justify throwing out makeup. And then this one is... What is it? Is it Revolution? There you go. It says it on the bottom there. Maybe new look. Um, so this is uh, Siren in Scarlet. And it's 965. And this was my... Um, last year of college like my shore red and it is absolutely gorgeous if you want a true red it stays on it's not drying but it's also not like sheer it's just beautiful and um, really nice good blue undertones this very back section here is my little mac lipstick collection um so i won't show you them all but i'll name a few colors that i've got verve chili and then i know i've got brave what have i got Brave Russian Red, another nice red, and Whirl. Um, so lots of nudes, brown colours. So the next dodge round is another small drawer. Um, so I've just pulled that out. This is basically my spare makeup drawer. Um, it did used to have to go in one of the bigger containers, but I did reduce it down quite a bit. Um, so first of all, in this little box at the front, I've got lots of loose eyeshadows. So I've got um, uh, eye glitter like a glitter glue i've also got a lash glue in there and then a few loose pigments and um press pigments that i like so this one i actually wore for my prom in when i was 16 uh this is max blue brown pigment it's just gorgeous i it's one of the colors that i eventually probably would wear again it doesn't really do it justice on camera um another one that i love this was actually one of their christmas mini so it's actually a mini mac pigment as you can see it's a lot as you can see the mini mac pigment is a lot smaller than um this one but it is just such a beautiful color it's rose gold so it's got the gold undertones and it's literally called rose um it's absolutely lovely and i do think that these mini mac, mac pigments the big pigments i think it would take years to go through one so the mini ones i think are a very good way to go um especially if you're just trialing colors so the rest of it some nice things that i've got i've got the benefit dandelion powder it's kind of like a powder and a blusher um it's a nice one for summer i've got a top shop bronzer i've got this little mua bronzer it's only a pound and it's literally brilliant um i've got mac soft and gentle highlighter a good one for holiday um this is also another summer product the revolution liquid highlight drops these are in the color um liquid champagne beautiful color for holiday i've got the lasting perfection collection concealer in the color cool dark and i use this as more of a cream contour color really uh what else have i got in there i've got a few i've got like a revolution pomade for my brows um 
I do have my Anastasia one in there as well, just if my brows do get sparse and I haven't dyed them. Then last but not least, a new product really is my NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. And again, just a lovely summer product to have all the liquid products together. I can't wait to use this when I'm on holiday. I would like to get the powder version of this as well though because um, I think it would be a nice colour all year round. Oh, so that's that drawer. This is the next drawdown. It's the first deep draw in this set. Um, and this, I mean, to be honest, it just looks like everything's thrown in. Um, so I have got my Revolution. This is a Moon Dust palette. I've never wanted to get rid of this. It's, uh, to be honest, I rarely use it, um, as you can see. But I do love this colour here. It's just a wonderful one, especially if you want that bit of glitter. I've also been really intrigued to use Galaxy because it's such a lovely teal colour and it's basically my eye colour. Um, so I've never got rid of that. I've got this that I've kept because it's quite a good travel palette because um, it's got a good range of colours. As you can see, it's well loved as well. Um, and then I've basically got an assortment of brushes. These are just all my spare brushes, so I'm not going to really go into them. This is a MAC Build Your Own palette, which I always aspired to fill. Now, these are all MAC eyeshadows. Let's see what colours I've got. This one's all... Oh no. So we've got Honey Lust, Red Brick, Copper Ring, that's a lovely one, Copper Ring. And is this one like Charcoal Brown? This was, I always remember Charcoal Brown as being Anya, uh, Anya? as being Tanya Burr's eye, eyebrow colour. <laughs> and then I've just got a few eye pencils um so like just black charcoal liners i have got this one this is really lovely actually um it's like a liquid glitter uh glam crystals collection just a dazzling glitter in the shade funk i'm only going to briefly go over the next ones because they are not actually makeup but again i feel like i would be nosy and want to know so the next drawdown i'm not going to get everything out but this is basically like a skin draw um i do have a beach like salt spray um spray in there and i also have some hair gel because i rarely use them products so it's good to keep them because i don't want to waste them but um it's nice to have them out of the way and then i do have some fake tan i've got the molly may fake tan i've got saint moritz in there and i've also got the dove gradual um like it's a body moisturizer that tans you gradually i've got my tanning mitt and i've also got some after sun in there and um, so lots of skincare products in the next draw down, it is my fragrance draw. So as you can see, I've got Marc Jacobs Dot, Jimmy Choo, I think it's blush, uh, Zara Perfume. This is probably my favourite perfume. Um, it's the Because It's You uh, Armani. Um, and like I said, I do have my Twilight one on my desk now. And then finally, I have my bottom drawer which is, it's a little bit miscellaneous. So I've got some like little elastic hairbands in there. This is a little pouch full of bubbles because I once bought two of the sets of Primark bubbles and I've just never got through them. Um, I've got a couple of hand gels in there, some small wax strips. I've got a little box full of like summertime anklets and bracelets. These are, it's a nail care kit. And then I've got a couple different face masks and a backup skincare product for my acne it's another um skin treatment that was my minimal makeup collection i hope you enjoyed but i thought i'd just give you a good old tour of the desk and the side cabinet i just think it's nice to be nosy sometimes bit of a different video for my channel like i said before um so yeah i hope you enjoyed let me know if you liked this style of video and also let me know in the comments down below if there's any other collection style videos that you would like to see so if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up so that i know like I said, comment down below any other collection videos that you might like to see and remember to subscribe to my channel. I am not too far off 500 subscribers and it is just so exciting and it feels so rewarding as well. Um, so yeah, I shall see you in my next video. Bye!